guys welcome back to my channel so in today's video i am going to be doing something i don't think this is like a tag or anything that's already made up just something that i kind of wanted to share with you guys and these are my fall must-have makeup items so if you guys know anything about me you will know i absolutely love fall I don't say it's my favorite season because winter is my favorite season because of Christmas. But it is one of the seasons that I mostly enjoy. I don't want to talk too much in my intro because I do have quite a bit of products to go over with you guys. But basically I'm just going to be sharing some products that I absolutely love, 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 love for fall. I do use these other than fall. There's no rules to makeup. You can use them whenever you want. But personally when I think of fall these are the makeup items that I mostly reach for. Also, if you guys like this makeup look that's going on here, I will link down below um, the tutorial on this eye look, so that way you guys can check it out. And without further ado, if you guys want to learn what my fall favorites are, then continue watching. One thing that I love about fall is lips. It's probably my absolute favorite, favorite, favorite thing. However, I am going to leave that for last because I have so many lip products that I want to talk about and we only have so much time. Instead, I'm going to go ahead and talk to you guys about some of my favorite eyeshadow palettes that when I think fall, these are the palettes that I think of. Some of them I have used before in the past. Some of them I just recently got. One of the oldies but a goodie is the Viseart or Viseart Dark Matte Eyeshadow Palette which looks like this so these are all matte eyeshadows and literally every time i look at this i just think of fall like this just screams and shouts fall so these eyeshadows are super super pigmented um i like using them to kind of incorporate some colors i'll mix this palette in with some shimmer eyeshadows or just wear them on their own i just want to swatch a few colors here these are the like purples and browns so you can see that there then we have like the greens, the navies, the olives. So they're really, really pigmented. I really, really like this palette a lot for fall. And it's something that, I mean, I use this year round, but um, when fall time comes, this definitely is something that I think of a lot. The next palette, it's a little controversial. You guys probably already know what I'm talking about. It's literally been all people have been talking about. All they stopped finally talking about it. When it first launched, people could not stop talking about it. And that is the Anastasia Subculture Palette. This palette, I don't care what anyone says, I love this palette. I absolutely love this palette. I have made a video on this palette, so I'll share that with you guys in the cards as well as down below in the com in the description bar. So if you guys want to check that out. But this palette. It's just gorgeous you can create so many looks that are perfect for fall with this palette i mean don't get me wrong like i said all of these eyeshadows that i'm going to be mentioning you can use them whenever you want but definitely during the fall time this is a palette that i'm going to be using a lot the next palette is one of my favorites if you guys know me you guys know i'm obsessed with ColourPop. so that palette is the femme rosa palette and this is the she palette from Karouche times color pop this palette is just perfect for fall as well it has those really pretty plummy colors um but then you also have your peachy shades here you can make really pretty coppery smoky eyes i really really like this palette it's 16 dollars the next one is the urban decay naked heat palette so anything with warm tones is usually super fall appropriate you know you can make your coppery smoky eyes this works for summer spring which this actually was launched during the summertime but i think this palette is going to be perfect for fall especially these colors right here in the outer corner like this purple ember and fuego these colors are going to be definitely essentials a perfect fall eye look um I absolutely love, love, love this palette. It's totally worth it. Probably the best naked eyeshadow palette that has come out. The only thing with this one is you're going to be creating the same look over and over again. No matter what, it's going to be a warm, orangey eye look. Whether it be smoky, neutral. Unless if you're using like the cream shade and that's it, it's going to look the same. The next palette is from Morphe. And it's not the one you think it is. And this one is my personal favorite. The Morphe 35R, which is also known as the Ready Set Gold. 
So I love this palette. I did make a review on this as well as a tutorial on this palette when it first came out. This is probably the best formula that Morphe has come out with. Um, with their regular palettes. It has, you know, these really pretty, deeper, bronzy, golden tones that are super, super gorgeous. And then you have your darker mattes here. So that's why I think this palette is better for fall versus any other season because it is a little bit more deeper tones. And that's kind of like when I think of fall, that's what I think of. You know, you do have your oranges in here. You have your browns. But I think this palette will go perfect with that really pretty fall vampy lip that everyone loves so the next palette is also from morphe you guessed it it's the jaclyn hill palette again same thing with this palette this palette actually it's a perfect palette for any time of the year because you have you know your colors that are perfect for like the holidays like christmas and thanksgiving new years and then you have your light colors up here but mostly let's just focus on this area right in here this little quadrant right here it's like perfect for fall because you have those really pretty warm tones. You have your warm shimmers, you know, your bronzy shades. And then like this shade right here. What's this one called? This one's called 24-7. Look at that. That screams fall to me. Like, it's just so perfect. This palette, it's perfect for any time of the year, but I definitely am going to be using this a lot more for the summer or the fall time and then the last palette is one that i just recently got and it's actually what i'm wearing on my eyes today and that is the huda beauty desert dust palette so it looks like this you know it has those purples in there it has your reds in there your shimmers and whatnot yeah this palette will be great because it does have the lighter colors too it would be good for springtime but because of these deeper tones right in here I definitely am going to be using this a lot this fall. So this is another palette. It is kind of pricey. I think it's the most expensive one out of all of them. Actually, no, the Vizier one is more expensive. This palette is definitely going to be one of them that I'm going to be grabbing towards a lot during the fall. So next, I want to talk about a blush that I think is perfect for fall. I only have one to talk about, and that is the MAC Sweet as Cocoa blush. This is one of my holy grail blushes i used to use this all the time but then i started entering out and using different blushes but for fall this blush is just perfect it's like that ready brown really really pretty and it even has a little shimmer in it so it just i think it goes with any makeup look that you do and it has a nice sheen so you'll still have that glow to you but it's really nice and deep, so I think this is going to look great. Especially since, for me, I love the vampy lips in the fall time. So I think this is like the perfect blush to go with those vampy lips. I have two eyeliners that I think I'm going to be using a lot this fall. And one of them is from Urban Decay, and it's in the shade Baked. It's a 24-hour glide-on pencil. So it's a really pretty bronzy gold. I think this is going to definitely enhance the golds and the bronzes that I use on my eyeshadow and then the other one is called sea green which is a really pretty forest green this is from jordana and this color is just gonna be so perfect for fall and it's a nice way to kind of add a little color and depth to the look so i'm really really excited for those two and then one more eyeshadow that i wanted to talk about this is a single eyeshadow this is the l'oreal infallible eyeshadow and this is in the shade glistening garnet and it's a really really pretty iridescent cranberry color and that's what it looks like this color is going to be perfect absolutely perfect for fall they do have a lot of other shades that i think are good for fall but this is one that i every fall i always use this eyeshadow it's just absolutely beautiful for a nice pretty cranberry smoky eye and then the final thing we're going to talk about lips vampy lips are my thing i wear them year round no matter what but fall is definitely the time where it's most appropriate to wear them i guess you could say according to social standards and whatnot so i'm going to talk about four lip liners that are essential to my fall arsenal and the first one is from jordana and it's in the shade cabaret and this is like a really pretty plummy deep color like a, it's like a red wine color the next one is called plum flush and this is a little bit brighter of a red so it's not as plum so you can kind of see the difference there this is more plum while this is more red but it's a really deep red and the next one is called mamacita from 
ColourPop Times um, Sarai. I love Sarai. It's a very vampy purple. So this is more wine. This is more of a dark red, and that's a vampy purple. And then the last one is Half Red from MAC, which this is one of my favorite lip liners of all time. And this is a lighter color. So it's kind of like a mauve-y mauve pink color that has a little bit of a red undertone. So this one is like perfect if I don't want something as vampy as these. So now time for the lips. So I'm going to take off my watch for this because I don't want to get stuff all over my watch because these lip colors are dark. So I'm going to talk about the lipsticks first and then the liquid lipsticks last. Since liquid lipsticks are hard to take off. I have three ColourPop lippy sticks. Oh, they're called? Yes. Three ColourPop lippy sticks. One of them is a matte. The other two are matte x which is very pure matte so the first one is grunge and this is like a really pretty brown i call this the new lip of fall the next one is called chateau which is a really pretty dark red which would go perfect with that dark red lip liner and then the last one is le freak which is a perfect vampy lip so as you can see it is a lot darker than the uh, Chateau color. Um, it's more purple than this one. Those are the lippy sticks from ColourPop and then my favorite lipstick is the Burgundy Blush Maybelline Matte Nude and that's what it looks like. So this one's more, it has more of a brown undertone to it than the other ones but it still is, it's like a red brown. I have lip gloss so if you guys like lip glosses this is from Thrive Cosmetics. I really like this makeup brand because what they do is every time you purchase a product they send a product to a person with cancer or a person who's um, dealing with chemotherapy, which I think is so like so nice, you know, so that way they feel beautiful too while going through the process. This is in the shade Narima, and it's a really pretty vampy gloss color. So if you're more into glosses, I really recommend you check out Thrive Cosmetics. I'll link them down below for you guys. You know, I'm not a big gloss person, but this gloss is really nice and comfortable. It's very, very thin, so it doesn't feel sticky or tacky at all. And it's super pigmented too. And you can also put it on top of your favorite lipstick. Guys, when I'm telling you, I have a lot of shades in the liquid lipsticks. I mean, a lot. These are my faves. Alright, so where do I start? So I'm going to start with the lightest. This is called Tool from ColourPop, and this will go perfect with the Half Red Lip Liner. This is like one of the first shades that I ever got from their Ultra Matte lips, Lip Line. So it's a really pretty mauve color, that same concept. It's like that mauve with a little bit of red and brown undertone, and it does dry 100% matte. The next color, this is from Sephora, and this is in the shade 42. I forget the actual name, I think it's like Brick something. This is a really pretty red brown. My swatches are horrible, sorry guys. And that's what it looks like right there. Let me actually fix that because that swatch is horrible. There we go. So it's a really pretty red brown color. Um, I really like it. It's like a perfect brick red color right there. The next color we have is Notion and this is an ultra matte lipstick as well from ColourPop. This is a really pretty berry red color and that's what it looks like right there. This color I think will go Perfect with the cap or the plum plush lip liner from the Jordana. I think this will go absolutely perfect with it. Um, it does have a little bit of a purple undertone to it, but it's really really nice. The next color is from Maybelline. This is in the color Voyager, and this is their Super Stay Matte Lip Ink. These do apply kind of tacky, but they do dry down matte. And it kind of does look like this one. It's just a little bit more red. So it's not as brown as the number 42 lip stain from Sephora. So this is more of a red color. And you can always pair it up with darker lip liner if you want to add a little more depth. The next color is called Vintage from the um, NYX Liquid Suede. And this color is a dupe for Trust Issues from Anastasia. This is a really pretty mauve purple. It doesn't dry 100% matte though. It does kind of leave like a little bit of a slide to it. But it's nothing too crazy. The only thing is you do have to think about transfer. The next color is Mamacita from the ColourPop Times um, I Love Sara E line. And just the packaging itself screams fall to me. So this is a really pretty dark 
plum color. And this is starting to enter that vampy lip color. The next one is from Wet n Wild. And this color, you can use it during the fall or summer whenever you really want. Um, I like pairing it with a darker lip liner for fall. This is a really pretty berry. It's almost like a fuchsia pink. But I like pairing it with a nice dark lip liner. And it looks super, super pretty for fall. And it would go perfect with like a cranberry eyeshadow. The next one is called Brooklyn from the um, NYX Lip Liquid Suede. And this is more of a brown. It's like a brown with a gray undertone to it. And that's what it looks like right there. The next one is called Sugar from the Milani Matte Amore. This color is gorgeous, guys. Absolutely gorgeous. When it dries down, it's really pretty. It is a little bit patchy. And it's really similar to Mamacita too. I just think Mamacita is a little bit more purple. This is more like a deep red. The next color is called Embellish. And this is a straight up dark brown. That's what it looks like right there. And then the last color I have for you, this is like the mecca of all vampy lips. This is from Wet n Wild. This is called Take It, Take It Like a Vamp. This is like, um, I think the color was called Vamp. I forgot what it was called. But it was like this really pretty vampy lipstick from the Wet n Wild line. And they basically made it into a liquid lipstick. As you can see, it's the darkest of all the lipsticks. Super, super purple. Has a little bit of a red undertone. But when you put it on the lips, it almost looks black. So those are the swatches of all the lipsticks after they've dried down. See, they're pretty matte. They don't really transfer for the most part. Some of them, like I said, I told you which ones weren't the matte ones. And those are the ones that still have the shine in them. So these are the lipsticks that I go to the most during fall time. I absolutely love each and every single color. If I could wear all of them, I would. I have probably, I think out of in all my lipsticks, I think I have mostly like vampy colors like this. So I have even more that I'm not even telling you guys. And it's not that they aren't my favorite. They just aren't the ones that I grab the most. Uh, these are the ones that I use at least two or three times during the fall. And that's a person who doesn't wear makeup on a daily. I wear it probably twice a week. And since I've been filming videos, I've been wearing it a little bit more. That is basically it with my fall makeup favorites. I hope you guys did enjoy this video. And as always, if you haven't subscribed, please make sure you guys do subscribe. Hit the notification bell. I do try to post a video at least once a week. Sometimes I am able to do more than once a week. So definitely subscribe if you haven't already. And um, yeah, if you guys have any requests, leave them down below in the comment section. And I will see you guys in the next video. Until then.